prince. The purple one. He reigned over a generation. He could play dozens of instruments. And he wrote songs for everybody. Stevie Nicks, Celine Dion, even Madonna. And then there's what he did on the court, in heels. This is biography. When he wasn't wearing those trademark high heel boots, Prince Rogers Nelson was five foot two inches tall. But that didn't stop the man from Minneapolis from dominating on the court. Prince was a true jock. Growing up in the early 1970s, he played football and baseball, but basketball was his first love. He was one of the few freshmen who made his high school's JV team. That's Prince in the JV yearbook shot. So what was his game all about? Well, his old friend, producer Jimmy Jam, says Prince played a lot like NBA superstar Steph Curry. Quick, crafty, and could shoot from anywhere. But after his sophomore year, Prince decided to focus on music. Think about it. There might never have been Purple Rain if he kept playing. But even as Prince became a star, he didn't stop playing ball. There's the hoop he put up inside his legendary estate and recording complex, Paisley Park. The stories go that late at night, after gigs at a club, Prince would go one-on-one -on -one with his celebrity guests, all while wearing heels and talking a little trash. And after the game, you might eat some pancakes. If it wasn't hoops, Prince might beat you in ping pong. Supposedly, he taunted Michael Jackson after beating him. And friends tell stories of him bowling strike after strike, wearing furry boots. As if that's not enough, he was also a pool shark. Basically, Prince never met a sport he didn't like. Prince could do it all in style. Of course he could. He was Prince. 